a very good evening and namaskar uh, thank you mr ambassador for inviting us and uh, making us meet the indian diaspora who have been our ambassadors for long time in japan and i think uh, as rightly said by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji that japan and india are indispensable friends and i can experience that the way our relations have progressed in last 9 years i think it is going to absolutely next level in terms of cooperation and in also in terms of our position in geopolitics i'm very happy to visit uh, japan again i had been here twice before as chief minister and uh, i think every time when i come to japan it amazes me but more than that wherever i go more amazing is the indian community who resides in that country who have actually maintained the culture and ethos of being indian but at the same time they have assimilated in the culture of those respective nations with keeping their identity absolutely distinct and today i think as indian we feel proud when being a indian we get all the respect globally and people look upon us and people feel that these are the people who can make the world better these are the people who can change the course of dialogue who can change the way world is thinking so far as uh, the state of maharashtra is concerned all of us know that maharashtra is a absolute power engine of indian economy maharashtra accounts for largest fdi that comes to india it accounts for highest numbers in export it accounts for uh, largest manufacturing sector and there are many things where uh, maharashtra is number 1 and i must also say that uh, in terms of technology today maharashtra is also startup capital of india it accounts for around 16000 registered startups out of 90000 registered startups in india which is the highest number it accounts for 25 unicorns out of 100 unicorns that are present in india and i think uh, the number is growing maharashtra of course has also been a favorite destination for uh, japanese investment be it uh, the investment in infrastructure from the government side or be it the private businesses and uh, in the past we have also established a japanese industrial park at supa near pune and uh, i feel that today when uh, i see a very renewed uh, sense amongst uh, japanese businesses to come to india the best place for them to come will be maharashtra because will provide the entire ecosystem to the japanese businesses and to the indian diaspora my appeal to you is that please use your good offices your contacts to tell the japanese businesses that the next best place 
other than Japan for them is India and in India it is Maharashtra. <laughs> I'm sure with uh, Honorable Prime Minister's uh, great initiatives, India has uh, become a very favored destination. And uh, our relationship with Japan is growing. And I can see more and more cultural and business exchanges amongst the two countries. As rightly told by uh, Honorable Ambassador, we had a MOU with uh, Wakayama Prefecture. And I think it is one of the most successful MOUs in the history of India. Because normally when uh, we ink any sister city or sister state MOU, it is mostly on paper or it is limited to one visit. But this has really resulted into a very growing partnership and uh, the Wakayama prefecture has been helping us in uh, promoting tourism, in tourism training. They have also helped us in opening a, a tourism office in Tokyo. And uh, there are many things which uh, we have experienced in past uh, 10 years. I must also say that uh, I was fortunate to open the statue of uh, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar at Koyasan in 2015. That was also part of uh, the same MOU. And I'm very happy to share with you today the University of Koyasan awarded me a doctorate <laughs> and I would take this opportunity to thank them but I think this is again a next big step towards strengthening our ties. So I feel that uh, in the years to come I see a lot of activity between India and Japan and I would like to invite you all to your country and especially to Maharashtra because very soon Ganesh festivals will be there and during Ganesh festival I think the best thing to watch is when uh, the Ganesh idols are immersed in the sea and I would like to invite you to that ceremony and if anybody wishes to come, decides to come, please let us know. We will make all arrangements for you to have a very close look at the ceremony at uh, the Chaupati itself so that the entire energy which you have there you can carry it back to Japan. So thank you Ambassador for uh, inviting me here. Thank you for making me meet the wonderful people and I look forward for more and more such meetings. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Maharashtra.